Hey friends, welcome back to Walt Christie World. We're talking about all things Disney pins and Disney merch and whatever else Disney I can think of. So today to celebrate National Women's Day, um, which was actually yesterday when you're watching this on Tuesday, um, I'm going to show you my favorite pins featuring female characters. This is probably going to be interesting considering I have a terrible memory and um, I picked pins where I feel like I know a decent amount about these characters, but I still, like I said, have a bad memory. So if I say anything wrong or get movies mixed up, I apologize. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Tell me I'm a dummy, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> okay, so the first one I'm going to show you was a trade, and this features Woody and Bo Peep. And I, I think I've mentioned on here before, I did not really care for Toy Story 4, but um, I still like Bo Peep. I think that she, her character in that movie was actually pretty good. Um, I like the direction that they took her and made her kind of, um, well, I can't say the word, but you know, a bad lady in a good way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like her and I like, I like her especially in the most recent film. Um, I mean, she was like not really much in the first ones, I feel like. The first three maybe she was more in the third one but i've watched toy story one many times um i've watched two and three maybe like two times a piece so i honestly can't remember what her role in those were but i know she played a big role in four and she was a pretty strong character so all right the second oh also that uh was a disney studio store hollywood pin limited edition 500 i got it in a trade um so normally I'm not able to get my hands on those kind of pins. And honestly, I don't remember who I traded it with, but I, if it's who I think it is, it's like probably real. Um, but if, if it was something I did on Facebook, there's a possibility it's fake because um, those are faked sometimes, but I don't really care because I like it anyway. Um, I'm not gonna pay for it. Like I'm not gonna pay $100 for something that I suspect could be fake, but I don't mind trading for them. I don't really have super high value traders anyway. So it's probably real though, if it's from who I think it was. But anyway, um, so this one is Lady. And this was from a mystery set from Oh My Disney. I don't know what happened to that. That was like a thing for a hot minute and then I haven't seen it again. But they sold them on Shop Disney, but it was like branded differently. So obviously Lady is, um, She's the family pet, and then the family has a baby, and she's like, oh my gosh, I'm not important anymore. Um, but she tries to save the family, or the baby's life, and then ends up getting, like, kicked out on the street. I can't remember who it was. It was the babysitter or, like, the woman's mother or sister or something. Um, but anyway, Lady's just got such a good heart, and she's so protective, so I love her. Um, I did watch Lady and the Tramp pretty recently, like when Disney Plus came out. I guess that was over a year ago now, but, um, or maybe over, no, over a year ago. Okay, it hasn't been two years yet. <laughs> um, but it's a really cute movie. Okay, so this one is a Hidden Mickey pin. And these, I feel like, are often faked. This is actually a pretty decent looking one, if it is fake. But I, of all of my Hidden Mickeys that I've traded for, this one probably... I don't know, this could be real. A lot of the ones on my board are fake, but I, like I said before, I don't care because I like them. Okay, so this is obviously Hidden Mickey, like I said, Nala. Um, and she, the reason I picked her is because, um, and let me see if I can see the date. It looks like 2011, so it's a pretty old pin. This whole series, I would love to get this whole series, even if they're fakes. So if I ever see these, I trade for them. Um, but anyway, so Nala goes off to try to save her pride and find Simba when he's older, you know. So she's, you know, I respect that. I respect her leadership. Um, okay, so next is a pin. Another, I think this was another Oh My Disney set, actually. Um, I don't see it on the back, but anyway. Okay, so this was the movie, like, VHS tape style series. And um, I'm not doing this for Lilo. I'm doing this for Nani, who stepped in to care for her sister when she was most needed. 
And I just think their relationship is super sweet and she sets a really good example for Lilo. Um, so yeah, I really like Nani. And when my sister and I, um, I have a little sister, uh, we have the same dad and shortly after my dad passed away, we went to Disney World. We had already been planning it anyway. Um, and it was just a good little bonding trip for us. Um, she's 17 now. But she was only 13, I believe, when we went. Um, so we wore shirts that said, I'm her Nani and I'm her Lilo that were cute. Not that I, I don't know that people would even know because Nani's not like a big um, character. So I don't know that people even knew who it was, but we knew and it was cute. So um, anyway, I like her. The next one, I'm gonna show you the backer actually with it because I feel like this is a series a lot of you will recognize. This is the Countdown to the Millennium series. And this one is from The Rescuers. So, let me show you a little closer. And obviously, this is for Bianca, not for Bernard, because he's, he's a he. <laughs> um, so, Bianca is a go-getter, and she is all up for whatever mission she needs to be sent on. So, I really like her. And um, I like The Rescuers. I I have not watched Down Under since I was a kid. So I don't remember anything about that one. But the actual original Rescuers, I've watched many times, um, a few times since I've been an adult. That was one of the ones that I would just watch over and over and over again as a kid. That one and then A Great Mouse Detective. I guess I had a thing for mice. Um, so I always really liked Bianca. Okay, so the last one I'm gonna show you is this No Capes Edna Mode. I know she looks mean in this, but she's not. She's not mean, she's so sweet. And she, this I think is just from the first Incredibles. I think this pen even came out before Incredibles 2 was out. But um, this was from a series that Disney Store, or Shop Disney did. It may have been before, no, it had to have been when it was called Shop Disney. I think it was called something different before, but anyway. I want to say it was the 25 year. It was the Disney store like celebration of what, however many years. Let me see if it says it on the back. 30th. Okay. So 30th anniversary of shop Disney or Disney store or whatever. And 2017. Okay. So these came out in 2017. This was one of the first sets that I bought. I didn't buy all of them. I just bought the ones like that. I liked one of the pens. So I traded a lot of them that I bought, but like it, they came in a set of three. So, if I liked one of them, I would try to get the one and then trade the other two. So, um, these were LE or LR. I want to say they were limited release, but they were kind of at the beginning of when people were like buying stuff on Shop Disney and then trying to sell it for really expensive. Or that maybe it's just because that's when I first started pin trading or collecting that I like noticed that set it happened with. And now it's like any limited edition set that comes out on Shop Disney. People are like, let me buy it, sell it for 10 times as much on eBay. Drives me crazy. I know that's just how it is. And it's not going to change. So I, there's no sense in being mad about it. But anyway, um, okay, back to Edna Mode. I hadn't even talked about her yet. <laughs> um, I like Edna Mode's character more in Incredibles 2. I think everybody agrees her and Jack Jack together is adorable. Um, and I have watched Incredibles 2 way more than I've watched Incredibles because uh, my daughter sees Jack Jack on the thumbnail on Disney Plus and she's like, baby Jack. So we watched that one, um, even though Jack Jack's in the first one too, but she doesn't see him in the thumbnail, I guess. But I, yeah, so I would say Edna Mode is strong because she is an entrepreneur. She has her own business. She's exclusive. She's like highly sought after for her talents perfect role model, right? So, uh, I like Edna Mode, but that's all I have. Um, I've got other pins that have like good female characters on them. Um, I guess honorable mentions. I know I have a Pocahontas pin and a Snow White pin that I like Snow White. Um, I mean, her voice is super annoying, but I like her. Uh, I had an Alice in Wonderland pin that I liked that I thought about including. And then of course there's like Minnie and Daisy, Marie from Aristocats. Um, so yeah, there's some other pins that I could have included, but these were my top ones, top uh, female characters that I wanted to show you. So 
I guess I will conclude this and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Happy International Women's Day. A little bit late.